Hi friends, welcome back to my Sichuan kitchen. Today, let me show you how to make the super delicious double cooked pork belly, hui guo rou, an authentic recipe from my hometown Sichuan. Hui guo literally means back to the pot. The pork is boiled first, then stir fried in a wok. The pork used in Sichuan is called er dao rou, which is a cut near a pig's butt with one inch layer of fat. Pork belly is perfect for this dish too. Let's cut off the piece we're going to use today. Drop the pork belly in a pot of water. Smack a piece of ginger. Add it to the pot. Then add a piece of green onion white for removing any unpleasant flavor from the meat. Then we're going to bring the water to boil. Next, we're going to prepare the veggies. First, we're going to wash some baby leeks. Cut at a steep angle to form long thin slices. This shape is called Ma Er Duo because they resemble the horse ears. Red bell pepper is also commonly added to Hui Guo Rou. Slice the red bell pepper into bite-sized slices. Now the water is boiling. Lower the heat and set a timer for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, let's check the pork belly. It's cooked and the soup is turning into a white stock. Now we can take out the pork belly and let it cool. Traditionally, we need to let the pork cool completely before slicing it. And you can do this a day before and leave the pork in the fridge until the next day. Today, we're just going to slice the pork belly right away. The slices should be as thin as possible. Note that the pork belly will be a little harder to slice if it's not cooled. In a wok, add a little cooking oil. Drop in the pork belly slices. Let them cook until the pork belly slices are starting to curl up. You can see now this slice is curling up. And you can hear the cracking noise from the cooking of the pork belly. Be careful for the splashing oil at this step. Push the meat slices to one side of the wok, dropping dough banjiang. Stir until you see red oil coming out. Mix well with the pork slices. Next, we're going to add in some tianmian jiang, sweet flour sauce. It's optional as well. Here is a secret ingredient that will make your Thai's cooked pork even more fragrant. 
is the fermented soybeans. Douchi. Before using douchi, rinse with water and drain. Now drop in the veggies. Stir fry until the veggies are fully cooked. This step takes about two to three minutes. To serve. Simply bring everything onto a plate. Double cooked pork belly is very fragrant, and in the old times, it is said that everyone in the neighborhood would know if her family is cooking this dish. I hope you give this recipe a try because I guarantee that you'll love it as much as I do. Next is our Q and A time. Where do you buy pork belly? So I buy my pork belly at my local Chinese grocery store, and I find they have the best and freshest pork belly. And we also have a global foods market that has good pork belly as well. Usually, the American grocery stores don't have good pork belly, so I think Asian grocery stores are your best choice. Uh, pork belly is usually just used for bacon in the U U.S. and they don't sell fresh pork belly. The Chinese pork belly typically has a little more meat on it. Can I substitute for leeks? Traditionally, you can use Chinese garlic leaves. Basically, it's like the green garlic. Um, so it's the leaves of garlic. Um, you can use that. If you don't have that, you can use onion. I've used onion before with some peppers. It still tastes amazing. Why do you boil the pork belly? This is literally called twice cooked pork. So you have to cook the pork in water first, and then cook it again in the in the wok. Yeah, so you can totally save the water you use to boil the pork belly. It's a good stock, and you can use it to make a soup or use it to cook other dishes. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you next time.